These Canada geese should be migrating south for the winter, but instead they seem very content at Parksville's community park. Canada geese are like a lot of people from eastern Canada. They arrive here and they say, I'm not going to leave, I'm staying. For more than a decade, the Guardians of our Salish Estuaries has been working with the city of Parksville and the regional district of Nanaimo to protect estuaries, in part by reducing the Canada geese population that peaked about a decade ago. We had uh, an oceanside population of about 1,500 in the summertime, and all those birds were on the foreshore in the estuaries, again, guzzling away at all the vegetation that's critical for invertebrates and salmonids and wild and wildlife. The group has helped facilitate six indigenous-led harvests in the region, along with addling eggs and putting up fencing to protect native habitats. During a survey this year, they found only 266 Canada geese from the shores of Lanceville up to the Little Qualicum River estuary, a fraction of what they had before. It's very heartening to see the numbers have been reduced um, over you know a number of years, and we're we're very happy about that. And we are seeing some um, you know benefits to estuaries that have started to recover, especially in the Little Qualicum River. It's we've got it back to it looks as good as it did uh, 20, 25, 30 years ago. Alicia Adams has noticed the population decline over time. I, like normally before they'd fill up like pretty much all of the grass area and now it's definitely a little bit little bit on the down spiral there's still some here the regional district of nanaimo plans to give the guardians twenty thousand dollars per year for the next four years to continue their efforts although with numbers dwindling another harvest isn't likely for at least the next few years